Hey, what's up everyone? It's your boy Two Phones back again with another informative video. This video is about the Google Pixel March 2020 update. Now, there is a lot under the hood to discuss, but I'm not going to go into detail on every little single thing and every aspect of these new updates. You can find the new updates as usual on Android.com or you just follow the Google uh, forums and Google Pixel forums. You know the usuals. Follow them on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Ready. <laughs> but no further ado, one major new addition to the Google Pixel features is uh, a thing called Long Press or whatever. Uh, it's like I, it's like iPhone's touch, uh, 3D Touch ID, uh, 3D Touch. So it's like you just press it and you can see more information on your notifications. I got a Telegram, um, you know, account, so I can see I got 14 notifications in Telegram, and this is the latest one um, that's popping up. Also, you can see it in Twitter, and it's mainly available for main, uh, you know, top applications. ESPN, Zach Levine, Out Wednesday, Bummer. Anyway, you know, so all I got to do is just, you know, press on the icon, and, you know, I got my cast box, new podcast out right now. And, you know, I got a few more updates, you know, first take and all that. So YouTube even has it, you know, cre create an inside channel. That's so um, that's one new cool feature. Also, another cool feature in the camera mode, if it opens. All right. So um, when you go to portrait, it gives you two different versions, you know. So watch this. All right. So I go to my picture. And then you're going to see two different uh, pics. You're going to see the regular one. And then, oops, my bad. <laughs> my bad for that. Let me get a tap on that. You're going to see that one. No, okay. All right. And then watch the second one. You can tell the difference because the second one's blurred. All right. So you get more depth in uh, picture quality and things of that sort. As you can see this one. Then watch that one. Yeah. So, yeah, so you got new uh, portrait modes. Also, you can get in your Android messages. OK, um, another cool thing is Google uh, Duo has new filters, new AR um, stuff. So let me go ahead, swipe down and you'll see these effects. I already opened them up, so I already been playing with them, as you can see. <laughs> Here you get Scooby Doo. Squeedle. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's a lot of cool stuff on there. Also, you get uh, new emojis. So I'm not going to scroll through all of them. But if you got the Google Pixel, you can go ahead and have fun with all this, this new features and functionalities and things. And so another thing, another cool thing is, um, let me check. Uh, oh, the power button. When you hold down the power button, check this out. So I got my PayPal. Um, and then I got a shortcut for emergency, lockdown, power off, screenshot, restart, and you know, your, your Google pay, Apple pay, or whatever you want to call it, Samsung pay stuff. Um, it's just another quick um, way to get into it when you, you know, you at Walmart or somewhere, you at a, a grocery store that accepts Google pay, Android pay and things like that. You just hold down the power button and boom, you know, but shout out to PayPal. Get your PayPal ready. <laughs> Anyways, um, so let me let me go into the settings. It's also um, you can do more cool features. Um, you know what I'm saying with your with your nightlight, with your live uh, caption, uh, grayscale things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into settings real fast. Let me uh, go find my settings um, app. All right, let me go to settings, and then we can go to uh, digital well being. And that's a lot of like more in depth. You can actually schedule your digital well being. You can dashboard. All right. So I don't know if a lot of people know about this, but you can schedule. All right. Schedule how often you use your apps, when you want to use your apps, when you don't want to use your apps. So you can say bedtime schedules and things of that sort. Um, you can check out that. All right. Um, now, another one. Um, let me check. Oh, basically, go to go to tips and support, and it'll show you everything. So you go to explore 
pixel tips. Okay. So you know, your pixel got more helpful, quick access to wallet, which I just showed you. Uh, schedule dark mode. So schedule dark mode is basically giving you a <laughs> demo, you know, swipe down, you know, tap pen. Okay. Hold and drag. Okay. Dark thing. Go back. Turn on. All right. Touch the schedule. You got to hold it to touch the schedule. And pretty much that. So you go to dark theme. Let's do that. All right. So you go to dark theme. Um, hmm. Where the heck got my dark theme at? Anyways, <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm in dark mode now. So yeah, that's helpful. That's helpful. All right. Let's go to the next one. All right. Find your apps. Stuff like that. I mean, this. Okay. So for people that's brand new to the Google Pixel line or any line of Android Google Pixel, all you guys got to do is go to settings, go all the way down to the bottom where it says tips and support, and then you go to explore pixel tips. That's it. And it'll show you everything that you need to know about your Google Pixel. That's real. That's facts. That's facts. You know? So here we are. All right. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, the overall experience, uh, I say it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I like the, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I like the new camera uh, in depth uh, portrait mode. I like these uh, 3D touch notifications, um, stuff like that. Um, that's pretty much my favorite one. This is on the Google Pixel 3a uh, and 3a XL. Now, all the other pixels have different features. Like the Pixel 4, they have the car crash. They have the motion sensor stuff. So if you into all that, then you need your Pixel 4. But the Pixel 3, that's the main focus on it right now. The Pixel 3a is this um, 3D touch. You get all the notifications um, from each of your apps with the icon, with the little dots. And, you know, I'm saying the emojis, of course. Um, your Google Duel um, news um, features, uh, filters, and effects. But uh, yeah, let me know uh, your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Um, if you got the Google Pixel phones from Pixel 2 all the way to Pixel 4, uh, what you like and what you don't like um, about the new features. All right. So yeah, it's just a quick uh, video. All right. Two phones. I'm out of here.